Hi, I'm Travel Grandma, and I've got a treat for you today. I'm up here at uh, Marshall Lake. I want to show you how innovative this lady is. Fantastic. I've never seen anything like this. It's a 2007 Prius, and I'm going to tell you what she has concocted here. I think it's fabulous. She travels with a cat, and I'll get a chance to meet her and her cat in just a little bit. Jan. Yes. You up for a van tour? Sure. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, and she's got her little cat. What's the name of your cat? His name is Mr. Murder Mittens. <laughs> <laughs> But I call him Mr. or Mr. M. Let me see if I can get a little Mr. close up of Mr. M here. Make a noise at him or something. <laughs> Mr. M is experiencing outside for the first time. <laughs> and how's that going for you? He wants out. <laughs> now he does. Uh -oh. Now he's a teenager and he found out there's a world outside my trailer. <laughs> oh no. But you specifically designed your hatchback here um tent yes. for your cat i actually decided it for my cat that passed in november okay and um so she was already a camp kitty he's learning <laughs> he's, he's just, just learning he's and, only eight months old and have you had him since he was a kitten or yeah i got him he was seven weeks old he was sick they made me foster him before i could adopt him oh yeah yeah. But he came out pretty healthy now. Yeah, he looks great. He just wants to explore, huh? He's a boy. He's a teenager. <laughs> Mister? So while you're out here with him, so we can give him a little bit of uh, free time here, tell us, and then we'll show, tell us what you designed here yourself. Okay. Um, I want to specifically talk about... Yeah. The that you, yeah. yeah. Well... I looked at the hatchbacks on the market and um the tents yeah the ones designed kind of like that right and, um they were loose and i have a cat and they could easily slip out underneath or whatever right and um i had a whole bunch of parachute material <laughs> and an old tent and i cut the entrance out of the old tent and then i stitched it to the parachute material and made it really tight so it, mm -hmm. the cat couldn't get out through that. Okay. So you do, your design, you started out with l really investigating the way that they're designed and then you made this fit snugly to my car to yeah. fit your car. And how did you come about having so much parachute material? I found it at Goodwill. Oh, okay. Oh, I am a thrifter. I If I don't have to pay for something or if I... Uh, can get it on the cheap I will <laughs> are you a seamstress by um, trade not by trade I've sewn my whole life my mom taught me to sew when I was three mr. come here and um, I've done upholstery for a living I, I used to restore mid-century modern furniture okay um, I've been an electronics technician I'm a Navy veteran oh thank <laughs> um, you for your service yeah I've, I've done a lot uh-huh so this wasn't scary for you no you took on the challenge huh? no any anytime i want something i'll figure out how to either make it or get it uh -huh. cheap. so so as far as your screen tent did that originally have a bottom as well it did but it in it, it fit the tent but it wasn't sewn together and oh. with a cat it has to be sewn together obviously right because so he'd I, just slip under it huh yeah so I stitched it along the bottom, mm -hmm. and then to my hatch in the back, I took heavy-duty Velcro, and I sewed Velcro around the hatch and around the tent, and then cut out the opening, so now it's just a big area. And we're going to take a look at that in just a little bit, but you did this all by hand, I understand. Yeah, I don't know how I could get a pop-up tent like that on a sewing machine. Right. I just have no idea how I would do it. So anybody could really do this. Yeah, it was difficult. I had to take some of the parachuting material and back it onto the net because it was so thin. I was afraid it was going to tear. Okay. And then, so I put it on with heavy duty fabric glue 
and then I glued the Velcro to the other side of it, and then I stitched them on together. So, wow. So it'd grab enough not to rip the tent. It uh -huh. seems to have worked. Yeah, I think it's fabulous. This is the pop-ups made in Voyage. <laughs> okay, so this is, so you've a, a new camper or? Um, I was actually homeless for a year and a half. Oh. Before I got this car. Um, I, I was sick. I, I have lupus. Oh, I'm sorry. I was yeah. pretty laid up. I, and how did you, how did you know, did, was this a, a an adult onset um, type of disease or? Well, I don't know how long I had it. I got it finally. It's very difficult to diagnose. You have okay. to be having a flare up when they take your blood. Oh. And then it'll show up ANA, it's called ANA positive. And what so were your this. symptoms, if you don't mind me asking? Um, my joints were falling apart. Mm -hmm. um, I had terrible GERD. Oh. I had... Um, Brain fog, still have it, <laughs> and chronic fatigue, mm -hmm. and the medicine they put me on, I gained 100 pounds in a year. It wow. Just about ruined my life. Oh, wow. I Are went you from still... a size 8 to an 18 in one year because of the medicine. Oh. So I stopped taking the medicine. I've lost 50 of it, but I've still got it. Got a bit more to go. It's very difficult because my joints are falling apart. It's hard to exercise. And yeah. It really hurts just standing here. So. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. He's okay, being well, so why don't, good. Why don't we? Yeah. Why don't we go ahead in so you can get off your feet a little bit Thank and you. um, have you sit down. Come on, buddy. Follow me in because he wants out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He might uh, whine for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. He's already he's really good about it. Yep. Right there in. goes the cat. He wants to get out. <laughs> he wants out. He's discovering the world. Yeah. Um, so there's the parachute hatchback that I made. And then I put this um, doorway from an old tent and oh. sewed that into it. And it's got a tent pole, so it actually pulls forward some. Oh. I think this is not up all the way. Oh, there we go. That's better. <laughs> so it pulls forward some. And then... This white part, it's, it's Velcroed around the doorway, mm -hmm. and that is on the pop-up tent. And oh. I cut out an opening from the pop-up tent, and then because I had the door here, I can still close up the hatchback tent. So the pop-up tent is your, your blue one here. Yeah. Okay. And then you have another That's older just the doorway tent. Doorway from an old tent. Doorway from an old tent. And then you have designed the parachute. Yeah. Gotcha. And then you velcroed both of them. Together. Together. Oh. You can see your the stitching here. It's all hand yeah, I done. Use super strong thread, so you, you don't need more than that. I know most people would be going closer. Uh-huh. A, it's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. B, it holds with the thread I use. So. Wow. And uh, do you sleep mostly as this being a tent in the back of your car, or do you close your hatchback? I don't close night? the hatchback. I'm a little bit claustrophobic, so it's kind of funny that I'm doing this at Prius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm an I was an electronics tech in the Navy, so that's why I'm doing this at a Prius. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> so we've got a fan back here. And then you sewed it here. Wow. Oh, I see the, the pole goes around like this. Very nice. Look at that. So how long does it take you to set this up? Not long. Yeah. Takes maybe five minutes to set this up. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And does it if fold up pretty snugly? Yes. That fits in a duffel bag like this. Okay. And this fits in a giant round blue flat container. Okay, so this is your bed? Okay, yeah, that's my bed. It goes out onto a platform, and then there's storage underneath the platform. Okay. And on this side, I just have it go straight down to the metal underneath where the bench seat was. Uh-huh. And what, how, what thickness is your mattress? I have a four-inch um, high-density foam. Because it doesn't compress, I can't stand it when they compress. My hips hurt. Okay. And then I put um, a queen size, super fluffy um, mattress pad. I fold it in half. Okay. And then I, I put it all on with the sheets with these lovely corner things for 
for sheets. Right. And so, then that's my duvet cover. Yeah. So you probably got about a five inch there, huh? Maybe. Probably, yeah. It's it, and it's soft on the top because of the the queen size bedding, and then it's then it's firm underneath. So. Yeah. Oh, nice. And you use this as a table here. It's a storage. It's, well, what I do, what I have here, I'm gonna sit inside. Sure. I can't okay, so I use this as a desk, but what it actually is is the things that I need to be able to get to easily. So I just keep that. Oh, nice. And then I have another one that goes under here that's a little smaller, but it's the things I don't need to get to easily. Mm -hmm. So this is for repairs. And, then, and I've got my board games and my books. Mm -hmm. I've got wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> uh. My very good, very bad cat. <laughs> <laughs> Commit to sit. And all of the, the only astrology book you'll ever need. <laughs> okay. And then, it I out. love games. I, I like playing cribbage and uh -huh. backgammon and dominoes, so I keep them with me. <laughs> anyway, he likes he likes it every time I open something up because it's a new space to explore. Yeah. So that's that. So do you cook in your van or not? Not inside. Not inside, okay. No, I'll, sh I'll show you the kitchen. It's over there. Yeah, yeah, we'll get we'll get to that so too. Just, just things I get need access to. Mm -hmm. um, these are some clothes I left out because it was cold before. I'll come around the other side, but I noticed that you have a paper towel holder back here. Yes, and this is my inverter. Okay. This, this is a 1,500-watt pure sine wave inverter that hooks directly up to my 12-volt battery. Uh -huh. And then... It has two plugs and two USBs, and I plug one of the plugs into this guy. Can I help you with that? Oh. Which has three USBs and three plugs. Oh, okay. All right. So that's basically your power station. You've got it hooked up like a power station it is, battery. Yeah. I don't need a power station. Though, right, right. My car's running right now. Mm -hmm. It's been running this whole time hasn't kicked in yet, but it's been running. <laughs> right. And um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to show you the sides without letting I'm my... I'm going to... Uh, you know what? I'm going to put him... He's going to scream, but I'm going to put him in his backpack. Okay. I normally don't open the back doors, but uh -huh. I know exactly what's sitting here. It's my solar panel, so I can grab it before it falls. Okay. Oh, don't care about that. <laughs> okay, so obviously that's my now, solar panels. Now, let me ask you... Why do you need the solar panels if you're running your car like that? Well, I found that I don't. <laughs> okay. I probably won't even bring them next time. And what is your, how are you hooking up your solar panel? Is it hooked up to your inverter or to another power station or what? Uh, it has it, it has its own battery in here. Oh. And you can plug anything into it. It has every plug in the universe available. It's only 100 watts, but... Can we see it? I've never seen a solar panel with a battery attached like that, as if one unit. You can plug anything you want in there. Okay. And you can also, can you plug, you have two of them? Yeah, I put an extra one in. Okay. And it literally has everything. <laughs> so you could plug this into... Oh, uh, like a Jackery or Blue Eddy or something. Anything that would fit this, yeah. Okay. Anything that could go USB. Mm -hmm. Wow, I hadn't seen that. So, What's you know the what brand on like that? A, it's a Solace Plus. Okay. And was that Amazon? It, everything's Amazon. <laughs> everything's Amazon. So we'll get to some links here. Even your um, tent. This pop up with Amazon too? Yes, I um, waited for it to go on sale. I got it for $89. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh huh. I mean, I three of us, minutes. three of us were in here and we had a nice time last night in here. So, it's plenty of room for, I would even say, four. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Six if you're cozy. <laughs> Let me put this on top. Okay. I'll show you back here. I have right here. I put all the spongy kind of stuff that I have laying around on there because that's my cooler. 
Um, what kind of cooler do you have? Those, that's a soft cider. A soft side cooler. That's two. That's one soft side actually inside another soft side, and I put frozen water bottles at the bottom of it to keep it cool. Mm -hmm. It's just for my vegetables and stuff. And how do you freeze your water bottles? With my freezer that's in the front seat. Okay. <laughs> All right. I like that system. So this is kind of my maiden voyage with all the electric ho hooked up and everything. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Okay, um, get a close up on that energy monitor there and I'll explain it. So what happens with a Prius is you have an electric motor, an engine, and a battery. And what happens is it, you can plug anything you want under about a thousand watts into um, your 12 volt battery or your cigarette plugs or whatever uh -huh. and whenever if you leave the car on in standby mode whenever the power goes below two bars in that box that says battery the car will turn on for about two minutes oh. and charge it back up again uh -huh. so when my 12 volt goes low that's the the lithium battery the big battery uh -huh. and the the gas engine charges it. I haven't used a gallon of gas in two days doing this. I've, the car's running now. Wow. And you traveled from what? Uh, did you say Tucson? Tucson. Wow. So how many miles is that from here? I don't know. Ask Google. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. How do you, how how long did it take you to get here? How about or did you take about four stops? hours? Four and four, a half hours. Oh, so it's four hours away. Yeah. Wow. There's uh, Mr. M's litter box. It's always in the car. I I keep my car like this even though I have a home and I, you know, I, I'm not full time. I can't because of my health. But uh -huh. this is my freezer. It opens either way. Oh, that's nice. And I'm finding that the top of it doesn't stay frozen or freeze with the bottom of it definitely frozen mm -hmm. that's water frozen okay and you like the little ones huh i like them because i'm using them as ice cubes <laughs> oh yeah yeah oops okay and it's 29 degrees down at the bottom right now um and you said this was a 30 liter yeah this is a 30 liter it's pretty deep yeah goes all the way to the ground uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah i can see oh, it is pretty nice but, um, I like the, this here. Yeah, it's grippy. Yeah, you can put anything on here. And what is this thing here? It's Why a cup holder. A... Oh, that's nice, too. This is a nice refrigerator. I know. It's a nice it, it was size. really inexpensive. It was um, 169 on sale on Amazon. Right, so it's a refrigerator or a freezer, depending you on how you set the temperature. Yeah, you can control the temperature. I like this. Yeah. I like the size. Hmm. It'll go down to negative four Celsius, I believe. Uh huh. And then probably up to maybe fifty-ish. Yeah. yeah usual, oh well, you can put it up as high as you want. <laughs> it doesn't have a heating element, though. <laughs> right. I think they normally go up to about fifty. Okay, so I'm coming in. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's tight quarters in the freezer. Yeah. There's my platform. Oh, I see. Okay, and you covered it with um, some carpeting. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, my window coverings. The yeah. The back ones, I wish I could get more of this material. The back ones are um, the screen of an old school uh, big screen TV. And oh. just razored it off. And I love it because it's cloudy looking, but you can still see lights and stuff outside. And, and then, can you see in? Let's take a look. You can't. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. try. Okay. <laughs> And then um, your other covers are what? Um, this is um, a, a, a school folding board for displays. Oh, cardboard. It's, it's a cardboard, but it's it's a stiffer kind of cardboard. It's, okay. I got it at the 99 cent store. The panels are, are, I think the corrugation is smaller or something, but they're stiffer. And then on the back side, I'll show you on the other one, I have um, stainless steel contact paper, brushed stainless steel. Oh, yeah, you really can't see in at all. No, you can't. And I love it because it doesn't look like you really have something in the windows, really, either. Right. You're just passing by and you kind of see your reflection a little bit, but... Yeah, keep calling it a van. It's not. Yeah. 
Right, yeah. It's wrinkly. I don't like it particularly, but I'm going to find another big screen TV and, and mm -hmm. uh, scavenge it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not liking that either. You know, for... No, and it wrinkled up. It was smooth when I put it on, but mm -hmm. as it's been sitting... I know, mister. I'm going to let you out in a second. Or, you know, maybe like a cloth. You could... You're handy like that, too. I am. Um... Yeah, I think I like the whole plastic thing better. I like the plastic thing, too. All right. Okay. So, let's take a look at your kitchen here. Are you comfortable on the floor, huh? I am much more comfortable on the floor. Okay. <laughs> I can sit and support my back when I'm on the floor. I can't do that in a chair. Okay. Um, this is my shower lately. I love this thing. Oh. And, and how does that work? You pump it, and it sprays water. And it sprays forever. Oh. Wow, I, shower, I like the size. I took a shower and that's what I used. And I washed my hair. <laughs> I know, I forgot and I'll let you out right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't hate me. <laughs> there we go. Hi, baby. Anyway, that's my shower. Um, this is my pantry. I keep all my dry goods in here. And I have smell-proof bags that are inside this. I kind of have a little bit of a concern about bears. <laughs> okay. So that's not that's called a gamma lid. This is a gamma lid. It's got a silicone seal, so it doesn't. You can't smell through it. <laughs> but I don't care if you can smell through it or not. It scares me. So I have these smelly bags in um, inside here with my stuff and most of the stuff in it. Uh, yeah. Just snacky stuff, stuff that doesn't need to be refrigerated. Uh huh. And then, there's my toilet. Everybody knows how those work. Right, and you have the privacy tent back there? Yes. Now that I thought was also interesting, the way that that works. Do you mind demoing no, I'll it? Demo it. <laughs> I put a thread up there so I can hang it from this piece uh -huh. while I take a shower, which is much more comfortable, but this is kind of hilarious. I'll just demonstrate it where I'm sitting. Okay. But imagine, you have to go, you find your head, <laughs> You put it in the hat. Hi. Yeah. yeah. I can see you. You can't see me. <laughs> I think that's great. And it's not a, it's a, it's sort of a pop-up or it's not yeah, really. It is. A, it is. It's one of those wire rings you twist. Right. But, um, show us how that actually folds up. Uh, oh, boy, and yeah. I'm good with these. So it okay. really shocked me that it Check this go out. Well. Look how small that is. Folds up. Yeah. See, it doesn't go well easily. <laughs> But yeah, it does fold up to about to about twelve inches. Yeah, you have to really work it to get it that size, though. There we go. Yeah, it has a bag, uh -huh. which I don't use because I put it in with the pop up. It's easy, right? But if somebody would had limited space, I love this. Yeah, that's definitely going on my Amazon list. I love this because it, oh, the brand name is Pen K. Okay, Pen K. And I know it was like under $20. Mm -hmm. I love the size. I know I like that it's long enough. It goes down to about my calf and I'm uh -huh. tall. So, um, so you can stand up in it you or can you can stand sit up down in it. You in can it. spend it a little higher than your head, take a shower. Mm -hmm. And the way I take showers is I do it right here, actually. I hang the tent up on that string. Okay. And then... <clears throat> It's also blocking. The one problem with the Prius that I've found so far is you, you get a little bit of exhaust when it kicks on. Okay. Because it aims straight back, I'm, I think I'm going to have somebody put a put a curve on it so it shoots it out the side. Oh, that's an idea, huh? Yeah. Um, okay, so I hang that from the ceiling. I have these white, these washer, wash things. Where did I leave them? I think they're in there. Anyway, I have these lavender, they're called scrubs, S-C-R-U-B-Z-Z, -Z, and they're little soft, spongy cloths about this big. You only really need half of one to take a, a shower, but um, I get myself wet with this, and particularly my hair. I have a rubber mat under, under here, and I always make sure that I'm parked so that it's on a slope going down. Okay. Because the stitching around there isn't sealed, so the water will run right out of the tent. Mm -hmm. And I have a thing about getting my feet muddy, so, muddy, so I have a rubber mat under there. Oh, I see. Let me see that mat. Okay. 
more than that. Okay. And then um, scrub myself up with the, the scrubs. And then I have a camp towel, that yellow thing right there, and, and you just dry yourself off. And it feels like lotion on your skin. It's amazing. So no rinsing with those? No rinsing. And what I do for my hair, I wash my hair, I use Renpure um, Cleansing Conditioner. And you get your hair wet, you put it in, scrub it, do whatever, and you rinse it out. And you don't even have to rinse it out all the way. <laughs> really? Yeah, no shampoo. And feel my hair. It's so soft. And that's bleach. Oh, it is soft. I love the color. Yeah, kind it's... of like a purplish. Yeah, it's it's called Tanzanite, and this was lavender, but it's silver now. <laughs> that's how the hair color works. I was a hairdresser for a couple of years, too. Oh, were you? Okay. <laughs> that was my first real job. I did it for about 10 years. Oh. And this is your kitchen set up in here? Yep. I have all my silverware and stuff in here, so it's easy access. And I have miniature, miniature stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And I have to have my silicone glove uh, or mitts because I use cast iron like, almost exclusively. That's that. Let me show you everything in here. Okay. It gets crazy. <clears throat> Okay, these are microfiber cloths. I have my bowls that I like. This one's good for soup. Mm -hmm. And then the, this size acts like a plate, but it doesn't spill anything ever. So I really like that. And then I have a whole set of stackable Tupperware type things. I put them wherever they fit. <laughs> and then my main cooking source is... I use propane, and I have this stand that has fold-out legs, so it won't blow over. Keeps it safe. And then I have a single burner. That just screws on there, huh? Yep. I have to get the... This just screws on. Well, that's compact. Yeah, very. And then I have... Oh, my cat food. <laughs> I have a little Dutch oven. Oh, that's a cute size. What is, is that like mm, three? It's three. Yeah. Three quart. And then How cute is that? I can cook anything in that. You can, it's like a slow cooker or whatever. And you have really good flame control with these. Okay. And then I have my grandma's skillet. That's a decent size too, probably eight inch. Uh, no, it's nine. Nine, okay. It's nine, and this is old, way older than I am. Oh. Uh, it's Griswold, I think, is the brand. Seasoned well, obviously. Yeah, it's it's in the process of a second. Of a, well, probably it's a hundred seasoning for all I know. But mm -hmm. um, this was my grandmother's, literally, and it was a Dutch oven, but the top, the big part, broke. Okay. It fell on concrete and it shattered. I couldn't uh. believe it. But I was heartbroken. But I'm, I'm working on another season on this one. And then I have mine for toast. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't it? <laughs> Itty bitty for toast. Yeah. Which I haven't used. I love toast, but I just haven't been hungry in the morning lately. Uh-huh. Anyway, so that's my cast iron cooking system. I'll just leave that there. Okay. And then I have, over here, I have... USB blender. Oh, nice. Um, more weird storage, my wine glasses. This is a nice one. I hadn't seen them with the... Is this plastic? Yeah. This is a really nice one. Yeah, and my, my um, French press is plastic, too. Oh. So it won't break. Okay. And then I have my wine glasses, which will break in here. Double, <laughs> double boxed and... and um, okay. Uh microfiber but um yeah what was that wine that we had last night it was really cheap wine and i was amazed to taste it so good it, it did was, taste good and i'm not really a it drinker was but liberty creek i'll give it a i'll give it a, a thumbs plug. up <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a little sweet for a cabernet but yeah yeah no bitter no ugly to it so uh -huh. i got this at dollar general it, it, <laughs> for it nine dollars <laughs> yeah it was pleasant tasting yeah it was it was pretty good one time 
I had Dr. Pepper and Jack Daniels in Texas. <laughs> okay. And I loved it. So occasionally I will buy Dr. Pepper and a Jack Daniels with just hiding in there. Oh. And I also like Canada Dry. But I don't drink soda in my real life. I drink my juice. This stuff. 64 ounces a day. Yeah, tell <laughs> us about your juice. Because that's an interesting concoction that you do. Okay. And that's for your health, right? Yeah. It helps you? It, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm almost off of all lupus medicine. Matter of fact, I think I am off of all of it. I don't take... I take stuff for symptoms, but I don't take anything for lupus anymore. Okay. Because it ruined me. It made me gain 100 pounds yeah. in a year. I went from a size 8 to an 18. I was a full-blown athlete. Um, and it really just took away everything, and I was sick for three years. Yeah, but you're coming back. I'm coming back. Coming last back. Year, last year, I lost 50 pounds on keto. Nice. So that was good. And this is my juice concentrate. What it is, is I take a giant blender, I put half a pineapple, one lemon with the skin, one orange with the skin, a thumb's worth of ginger, and I have big thumbs, <laughs> a thumb's worth of ginger, turmeric, tar, um, tarine? Is that what, yeah, tarine. Tarine, which they have, it's what they put in sports drinks to make you buzz, but they've found that in smaller doses, it's really heart healthy. So I use that because I have a damaged lug. I worry about my heart. Um, and then I run it through a blender and I put two tablespoons of turmeric, about a third of a cup of Bragg's vinegar. That makes everything better. And then I blend it. Oh, and a cucumber with the skin. And then I blend it. I strain it through a wire strainer and then I cheesecloth it and get everything out so you can... I don't know if you can close up on that, but you can see how pulpy it is. Yeah, it is. So I take an 8 ounce into a 64 ounce and fill it with ice water or filtered water. Oh. And I drink one of these every single day. That's and since I started doing drink. that a month ago, I've lost 14 pounds. Wow, yeah. that is a healthy drink. Yeah, and turmeric helps with inflammation, which is what lupus is, basically. It'll inflame different parts of your body. It, it hits everybody so differently. but So it's an autoimmune disease. It's an autoimmune disease where my immune system sees a virus or something come in and go, Hey, yeah, you and me, buddy, let's go get them. You know, uh, <laughs> it attacks me. So okay. they're working on my joints, um, my back, my shoulders, my hips. Uh -huh. So getting out in the fresh air, I'm sure that that helps you too. Yeah, I've, I've been an outdoor enthusiast my whole life. Mm -hmm. I've climbed Mount Whitney. I used to hike every single weekend. I started in high school. I did 100 miles through Los Padres, Big Sur. And um, I did a leadership course where we went in six weekends in a row. And then I took five girls 100 miles through Los Padres. Oh, wow. So, I started there, and I've never not been out an outdoors person. Uh -huh. Anything in the sun, anything in the water. Um, so uh, your lupus is just a bump in the road right now, huh? Oh, Something yeah. that... Um, I decided whatever it does to me, I'm not going to let it stop me. Good for you. So, yeah, it really hurts being out here, I, mem I must admit. Hurts more than I thought it might. Uh huh. But I'm moving around more, and that can't be bad, you know. That can't be bad. That can't be bad. And you're losing the weight again. And yeah, that'll it's so help hard you. to exercise when you've got all this joint pain and this extra weight. I can ride my bike, but I can't walk. What about chair exercising? Um, I do a water aerobics every morning. I love. I'm water missing aerobics. it out here. I would. I'm tempted to go try and climb through Marshall Lake. <laughs> well, you know, you know, the Aquaplex here, I've been going to there. Um, well, see, there is a drawback with this Prius system in a cat. Okay. I mean, for, I can take him anywhere I want in the back cat. Nobody will ever stop me. Uh-huh. But um, nobody's ever even said a word, but oh, how cute he is. So uh -huh. there's that, but you can't just drive away from this. If I, if I take the hatchback tent off, close the hatchback, and drive away, I've left all of my stuff without even a car to protect it. Right. So I won't do that. Uh-huh. I can bug out in about 20 minutes if I want to. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So, yeah. You'll figure it out, won't you? Yeah, so I can't go to the aqua place. <laughs> right. I I yeah. Well. 
Well, yeah, you figured everything else out, and I'm sure you'll figure that out, too. I've, I've pretty much been that way my whole life. If I want something and I want to get it done, I'll either figure out how to do it and then put it on the scale of whether or not it's worth my time to do it uh -huh. versus how much it costs. <laughs> right. And, you know, you may find a campground that has a pool as well. Yeah. You know, like you said, a lake. I was actually thinking of going down to... to St. Mary's Lake campground and getting a night after my friend Hattie gets up here. So yeah, that was just so work. I can enjoy the the water. Yeah, and yeah, get your body moving in there. I think that's a wonderful idea. Yeah. So what have you got here? That is my full sink. I I wanted a sink that was square that would fit behind my seats because <gasps> space is at a premium in the in the Prius. Oh. And I couldn't find square buckets anywhere. Finally, I ended up buying some, paying way more than I should have for them. And um, I bought two. I took one of them and cut it in half and took the bottom and put it inside the top. Okay. And caulked it all the way around. And then I cut a drain hole and I put an actual drain in there. It doesn't slope properly, so you're seeing my coffee grounds. Uh -huh. And then this is gray water. And it wasn't quite tall enough for this five gallon bucket so I put feet on it <laughs> and you are an engineer aren't yes, you I am I have an engineer <laughs> brain and then that holds that in place oh my goodness and it's a silicone tube that just goes straight into the square wow and then that just goes like that huh yeah except I have a kink in it right now it's not that there we go. oh there we go <laughs> it's harder to turn off than you think Okay. Oh, you got yeah. it right the first time, which well, is hard. I have one like that, too. Yeah. But the cool thing is, is the hose goes in through the air breather on this five-gallon jug. Oh, okay. So it's, it doesn't have a big opening. And then the lid has a spot that's just big enough to hold the cap for that. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. I love that idea. So it's just two square buckets. Yeah, I cut one in half, stuck it inside the other. And you can do it just by drilling holes in the bottom. You don't have to put a drain in. I was just being fancy schmancy. <laughs> but I like the drain. I do like the drain. <sighs> Love the drain. And then you just have gray water in the bottom. Uh-huh. How about... Wow, that's so innovative. <laughs> Love it. Everyone I've seen was round. And the space just does not suit round in that Prius. So. Uh-huh. Well, it's a little cat toy, huh? Yeah, it's silly. <laughs> Good for you. It was delightful to meet you, and we'll stay in touch, I'm sure. Yeah, we will. Awesome. So a good title might be... What did you say? Desperation is the mother of invention. Desperation is the mother <laughs> of invention. I like that a lot. So like I said, this is the Marshall Lake area. It's um, BLM... Well, I guess it's BLM, but it's National Forest um, free camping, and you're allowed to stay for 14 days. And most of the areas where you would camp have the fire pits, although there's a fire ban right now. But it's pretty nice. No picnic tables or anything. And the lake is nothing to write home about, but just down the hill is Lake Mary which is a pretty nice little lake. And I think they have like a day use area and um, a campground, but I believe you have to pay for that. And I'm actually leaving right now, so let me get you a little shot of Mary's Lake. So I'm getting ready to take off. I'm going to be heading to my son's house actually, but on the way I'm gonna stop and see a friend and actually you know her i did a van tour with her oh my gosh it's been about two years i think she was living up in wisconsin at the time so i'll put a link for that video um, in the description below oh and i actually saw her when i was visiting the grand canyon because she doesn't live too far from there so that'll be fun yeah, and then I'll be staying at my son's. He has a pool, so I'm going to enjoy that for probably a couple weeks. I'll be doing a little bit of house sitting. Not that he needs me there, but I thought, oh, that'll be a nice little break. They're taking a trip back east. 
So I'm gonna catch up with um, Deborah Bounds. Maybe I'll put her van tour. Man, I do a lot of van tours. I'll put her van tour in the description as well. And then I'm gonna pop home for a little bit. I've been gone for four months. So it's time for me to check back in and see my grandkids. Um, just love those little girls. Oh my gosh, what a joy it is to have grandkids. And I love this lifestyle too. I just love it. So, but life is a balance. And I think that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to balance things and enjoying my life and getting out. And I've been seeing a lot of people that I have met throughout the past two years. And this trip in particular, you know, I could see that I'm evolving, I'm changing, and I'm having such a good time. I love this lifestyle, I really do. But I love other things too. And I'm gonna be starting a series soon. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in the next couple upcoming videos. But it's something that I'm excited about and I hope you're excited about it too. Probably going to just put it on a playlist for now. We'll see. I want to see how it goes. It's just, I have so many different interests. And you know what? If not, now when? And sometimes it's not just all about van life. Because we've had lives before and interest and why not try to do it all just mix it up a little bit <laughs> anyway I gotta get going and I'll see you down the road have a great day